Huh. Well, that's, uh... Cheery. Do you hear that? Uh-oh. Oh, no. Wait, what is that? Get away from the walls. Hold on to that torch, kid. Oh, crap. Things are way more aggressive. Wow. Damn, they don't seem to mind the light as much. Keep sweeping that door. Enough of those damn things. Wait, you knew about them? You were planning on telling me, right? Hey. Look at this. Let not the world deceive thee with its beauty. It is the dream of a dreamer, a mirage of the desert. The cup of death will be filled for thee, lovely. It's all in English. Yeah, yeah, it must have been Drake. Okay, so so let me get this straight. Drake sails thousands of miles looking for this Atlantis of the Sands, and when he gets this far. What he finds here is enough to make him turn around, sail home, and hide all evidence of his voyage. Right. But you... you're gonna keep going, aren't you? Uh, yeah. And <laughs> for what? For treasure? Sully, he listens to you. Please make him stop. Yes, Sully, please tackle me. <laughs> What is wrong with you two? Elena, come on, we're just joking around. Listen, you've won, okay? You've outsmarted her. You know where to find the city, and Marlo doesn't. Why can't that be enough?
can't see a thing! <laughs> Careful, kid. All right, watch it. I'm gonna send the ladder down. Hey, right, heads up! Got it. Get it? There. Thanks. Here, give me your guns. Can't take them out on the street. Ah, uh, right. Much as I'd like to. Okay, I think we're clear. Come on. We gotta make ourselves scarce before any more of them show up. All right, up here. This way. Easy, kid. Stay away. Stay away. What's wrong with him? They drugged him. What? Come on, we gotta get him out of here. Come on, stop. Touch me! All right. No. No. We just, we just want to help. Get away! Get away from me!
Welcome back. I don't recommend making a scene. You're not exactly here legally, remember? Greatness from small beginnings. Beneath that cocky exterior, you're still the same scared, filthy little runaway, aren't you? Skip the mind games. You don't know me. In fact, I suspect I know you better than anyone, Mr. Drake. Of course, that's not your real name, is it? But we won't dwell on that. Mother commits suicide. Father surrenders son to the state at the age of five. Entrusted to the St. Francis boys' home. <laughs> it's also Dickensian. <laughs> oh. Don't worry. She's of no interest to us. Unless, of course, we need to apply a little pressure. What do you want from me? Well, as much as it pains me to admit it, I need your help to find Victor Sullivan. Right. We already know he has the coordinates to find Iran. How do you know that? <laughs> you told us, Nathan. It seems your loyalty isn't as firm as you'd like to think it is. What about his? What? Wait. What are you trying to pull? Nothing. It's just that... Well, we've had you in our clutches for quite some time now. And he hasn't exactly mounted a rescue. He didn't rescue you back in Cartagena, either. He just saw something he could exploit. I know what you're trying to do. Trust me. Victor is only ever in it for Victor. It's a cold, hard fact. I discovered it 20 years ago. I'm surprised it's taken you this long to figure it out. You're wasting your time, lady. Fair enough. But ask yourself, when he scooped you off the streets of Columbia 20 years ago, did he save you from that life? Or did he just doom you to this one? Ah, excellent. Well, we've located Sullivan on the other side of the city. I'm sorry, Nathan. It seems you've been removed from the equation. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh. 